Hi, Kiwi. All right, so we're going to try the speed mode mo uh, challenge mode one more time. And if I fail it in this video, we'll, uh, we'll move on to a different challenge for a change. But I am having fun. It's just a little frustrating that I haven't had the best RNG since that one amazing run. So we find ourselves starting on a new day. Uh, I am still doing this in secret. It's, what, December... I want to say December 5th now, so... Only another 20 days of doing this in secrecy before the cat's out of the bag. I'm very curious to see how many uh, videos I end up crafting by the end of this um, for you. I'm already at, like, an impressive five hours of videos, I think, which is pretty wild. Um, I guess that equates to, uh, gosh, how many... Eh, I'm not going to do math this early in the morning. <laughs> I'm still a little bit zonked, although I will say I'm we're back on our subhuman sleep schedule, which has been wonderful. Very good starting item. Stigmata and, and uh, so damage up and, and HP up, which is great. Um, but anyway, we're back on our subhuman sleep schedule, which has been lovely. I, if, if for context, we're sleeping... I think last night we slept until... Uh, or we, we went to bed at like 4 or 5 a.m., and I just woke up at 11 a.m. Or no, sorry, it's 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 almost 1 a, 1 p.m. I, I slept a lot. I I'm sleeping so much better than being on what's considered the normal sleep schedule. I'm just my my bio rhythm is just better suited to the late nights, I suppose. Oh, maybe one day I'll have a night shift that fits my sleep. I am getting absolutely wrecked by Little Horn. I don't know why. Maybe uh, maybe I should focus on the boss battle for a brief moment. Man, so much time wasted on this boss. Well, at least we know we have keys going on to the next floor, which I guess is helpful. I do unfortunately think I have to go back for this half heart. I've wasted so much HP with it though. Alright. Two minute basement one is not ideal for a speedrun challenge, but hopefully I can make up some time with the damage up and just have a boss that isn't so hard to hit when they're moving in, uh, in at twice the normal movement speed that they have. Alright, chest room could be very good. Unfortunately, I don't think I have the keys to support it just yet, so I'm going to have to hold off for now. I'd rather take the guaranteed item in the item room, even if it ends up being crap, there's the chance that it isn't, um, and then risk it on the double key door that may not give me what I need. Vasculitis. Uh, not sure if that's good or not, but... Uh, oh, okay, it makes when enemies die, they shoot out lot of tears, so could be good. In a very clustered, crowded room, it could set off a chain reaction sort of situation. Unfortunately, I did not get a second key, so I'm probably never going to see that uh, what's inside that bonus room. But, oh well. Oops. Alright, still haven't taken red heart damage, thankfully. But, I did not get caught on rocks like that. Trying to do as much damage to the smaller version, or the smaller... Oh, that's exactly why, because I knew he would bounce and I wouldn't be able to dodge it. Oh well. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace, uh... What's the word? Rest in peace, double, double deal dream. Alright, moving along. Big rooms like this are definitely time lost, but... Let's see, how are we doing? Alright. That... Well, that last floor was only a minute long about, but still definitely longer than ideal. <sighs> Which way to go? Seems like a pretty big floor, unfortunately for me. My aim definitely seems to be off on this room. Still don't have enough damage to be convinced this is going to be an amazing run, but who knows? Tigmata is a very good place to start because it gives me the two stats I want most in this run: HP and damage. All right, that's this room clear. There's our key that we won't get. Item room. All right, Worm Friend was is very hit or miss as we proved in the last run. I don't like this room, so I'm just going to do this. Let's see... Alright, I haven't found the boss room yet, so we're just going to keep going. I'll go this way now. Bomb dropped, I should probably pick that up, because that might be damage or a way out of a room. Alright, here we go. 
Uh, nothing. So then the boss room. Oh, I somehow missed. No, I, I didn't miss that room. That was the room I bombed out of. I am fine. All right, as much. Uh, I kind of need. No, it's not. It's time loss. I'm trying to make that room a lot easier, thankfully. And there's the key I needed, so we're good. We're good. No need to waste time on on a room that may not even benefit me or be unnecessary. Uh, all right, there's the boss room. Good. Not a fan of this room, but that makes it a lot easier now that things are dead. One friend definitely helps out on these guys. Alright, let's see what boss we roll. Alright, the odds of me getting through this boss without taking damage are very low, so I'm just gonna try and do the heck out of him. Yeah, even when he slowed. <laughs> oh well. Don't think we're getting a double deal on this one. We can certainly try. I really shouldn't have gotten hit at all on this boss. This is not a boss I need to get hit on, it, or should get hit on at all. Alright, Synth Oil, another decent damage up, so this could have been a good run. I'm just uh, not playing well, which is, is fine, I suppose. It, it's how it is sometimes. You can't expect every, uh, perfection from every run. I would at least like some semblance of decency, but <laughs> that's not what we come here for. We come here to fall asleep. The uh, gameplay is just uh, supplemental to that. Ah uh, yes, my least favorite enemy in all of speed mode, apparently. Uh, Worm Friend does help, though. Worm Friend definitely helps there. Alright, good. We found the item room, conveniently. That does help. Oop. Oh, there's my red heart damage for the floor. Oh my god. I really... I don't enjoy these enemy types. They, they seem to give me so much trouble. Alright, infestation. That's only good if I get hit, I think. I might be mistaken. That might be if I deal any damage, but I think I'm mixing it up with infestation shot. Sure. Or Infestation 2. Yeah, not impressed so far, but we'll see where it takes us. Alright, a bedroom could be useful for the soul hearts it may or may not provide. I'm not making good time anyway. I think I'm going to risk it and see what I got. Okay. Uh, this is a dirty bedroom. So, I forget. Actually, being able to skip the... Being able to skip the boss might be big here. Let's, let's go to the next floor. So, I won't claim we're making amazing time, but that did help speed us along a little bit, which is which is good at least. Alright. No devil deal once again, and you're trapped in a spot where I can't. Not an amazing room for not taking damage with my brain as it is, but well. Okay, on to the next room. I will say this run has gone farther farther than I expected, mostly and likely due to the damage ups. But without a brimstone or the or flight or something to help me cheese the rest of the run, I'm not sold on this going amazingly well. I also need a key still to pick up my item. Or get to my item room. Sure it would be inconvenient if I Okay, I don't know how I dodged that, but wow, this room sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Not much I could do about it. I'm glad that Wormfriend does damage. It's, it is a very helpful item under most circumstances. There are just some circumstances, as proven by the last run, where it uh, can be a double-edged sword of sorts. Alright. Let's see what we get here. Alright. I guess the reality of the situation is I definitely don't have the survivability to survive the womb very easily. But who knows, maybe the run is not dead, there is always a hope. I really should find my item room, but this is going to be a huge time loss just to find that one room. Uh, let's go for the boss, I don't think it's worth it, I'm just going to, this run is going to be so weak, but I need it, I, I need to go. Alright, four. I think I'm going to destroy these TNT barrels because I foresee them being a problem very soon done enough Ultra Greed to be able to dodge bombs like that pretty good reliably. I could blow- I could probably have blown up those- those to hit him better, but I don't want to risk it. 
this is the part where he just runs really fast after me, and I have fought war where he is so fast and I just don't have the movement speed to actually outspeed him, and I think I'm just like barely in that position. <laughs> don't touch me, please! Alright, well, I mean, in terms of time, we're, we're really on pace. In terms of... In terms of chances of this going anywhere less than terribly, not outstanding. Okay, that's the first room, and that's the second one. Alright, All right. got those guys cleared, cool. Alright, this is one of my least favorite enemy types for this mode as well, as we proved. I am bombing out of here. Do not go to that room ever again. Those enemies are... those enemies with Worm Friend make this run so much more difficult than I think. Nope, we're dead. Alright, on to the next run. Let's see if we... That run had potential, unfortunately. But I just never got the... Sur I never got the survivability, and also I played, like, utter garbage. <laughs> Today may not be an Isaac day, frankly. I may just have to do a different challenge. I don't think... I'm... I'm not playing. <laughs> Unfortunate. Alright, skipping tiers. Doesn't give any stats up, so not sure if these will be great. There's a Tinted Rock here. I'm gonna take it. Alright, Soul Heart. Normally I'd leave it on the floor and come back for it before going to the next floor, but we don't have the time for that. I should probably see what's in the Sacrifice Room and see if it's anything good. Um, sometimes there's something in here worth taking, like a Soul Heart or a, rather a Black Heart, but no such luck. Alrighty. There we go. Lovers, not great, not terrible. Alrighty, I wonder, I wonder indeed. Probably we're gonna clear this without taking damage, I hope. But this is the first floor, so I don't know why I was expecting a double deal. Never mind. Blew it at the last second. I choked. I choked. <laughs> Unfortunate. Anyway. Uh okay, damage up. Excellent, excellent. That's worth it. Alright. I'm gonna play well. I'm gonna play the most well. The wellest. Man, my commentary is just... Leaves something to be desired, doesn't it? Alright, I do need a key, which hopefully... Uh, yeah. Got spider ganked. <coughs> Alright, that's a bomb. Interesting. Okay, so the, that version of enemies that have multiple quote-unquote phases, if they have a power-up like that, they uh, spawn off fly each death. Interesting. Key, please? Alright, well, double deal double deal chance is high. Was high. Actually, it's still high. I'm just playing, once again, pretty poorly. Let's see if I can do this. I believe in the me who can do this. Let's just keep throwing your head and we'll be fine. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get a double deal. First one in ages, and mom's coin first, not amazing. Guppy's paw, and. I forget, but Death's List, maybe? Unfortunately, neither of those are worth taking on a speed run. Alright, I'm... Oops. Well, I accidentally used that. Um, I still need a key for that item room, but I guess I'm just gonna have to go to the next floor. I also forgot to pick up the lovers again. Oops. Oh well, at least I got a luck up. Maybe good luck will save me from my stupidity. Oh, this is a bad room. Alright. Oh god, I hate this room. This room is a bad time. Okay, got one. Come on. We call this the waiting room. Because that's what we do. Nothing but wait. Alright. Uh, I thought I could loop around them. Darn. Please break. Please break. Alright, there go all my soul hearts. So, the odds of seeing another doubt, uh, I do not want that. Alright, uh, ooh, a plant, a planetarium, though. 
in a room filled with some of my least favorite enemies for speed mode. Not ideal. I might just drop a bomb and hope it kills one of them. Oh, it killed one of them. The planetarium tends to be amazing. I just, I don't know what to expect. Okay, that's two. That's three. Come on. Alright. Not terrible, but lost our double deal, so unideal. I still don't have a key, do I? Darn. I didn't account for that. Uh, maybe I should have just bombed out of that room. Odds are not looking great on this run, as it is. One damage up is nice, though, I suppose. I really wanted that one dead so much to take some damage. Ah, the popping pills. Okay, still no key. I really, really... This is going to be one of those runs where I just... I got a key. If I didn't have bombs, that would have been some of the most spiteful bullshit. At least I can uh, safe spot these guys, thankfully. Alright. I think I'm going to go for the planetarium, honestly. Or, is it, oh, is it a planetarium? I forget what it's called. But, uh... Whatever it's called. Venus, HP up and you feel pretty. I do feel pretty. Pretty bad. <laughs> sad. Pretty sad. Okay, so it charms enemies right when I get near them. That could be really good, or it could mess with the AI and the pathing so badly that I end up walking into them. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Okay, there's a good key. Uh, okay, my favorite enemy types. The hearts let me see where they go to, though, so that's a, that's actually very helpful. I don't know if I can take damage from enemies when they're charmed or not. I'm hopeful I can't, but I don't know for sure. Don't know for certain. Alright, okay, we got keys, Revenge Fly, our obsessed fan. I found that that can be decent in this, but it's not amazing. It's certainly not amazing. Alright, well stocked up on keys, locking in bombs. Right, this is a curse of the labyrinth, so it's just a really big floor. There's very little chance I'm getting my boss room, but at least I can... Or, not my boss room. There's very little chance I'm going to be able to get my um, deal with the devil on this, since my chance is already only at 4.5%, but... I don't know why, but these, these are some of the enemies that I have the hardest time dealing with for some reason. Just mentally, I guess. Alright. Oh, I'm curious to see how uh, the charm works on this boss, if, like, his individual... Yep, his individual pieces can get charmed. That doesn't necessarily make this better. <laughs> I, I don't know how I didn't take damage there. I very much deserve to take damage there. Alright, but Venus, Venus is pulling out pretty good. Not much in the way of giving me... Well, that was pathetic. I definitely didn't need to take that hit. Uh, definitely not in the way of damage, but survivability, it, it is a very good survival, uh, survival tool for me now. Especially if I get, like, some of those brimstone shooters. Is that Trudis's shadow? No. Shade, yeah, that's what I thought. Basically another obsessed fan, but with a different form. Not amazing, yet again, but we'll, uh, we'll keep it going. Right, found my item room right away, which is good. Alright, let's get in there. Wow, I, I keep getting fruitcake. Alright, well. Not gonna complain. Some of the shots that come out of fruitcake are extremely good. And some of them do self-harm, so we'll see. Right, oh, why did I want to touch that? Alright, there we go. Oh, hey, he found a tinted rock for me and gave me two keys. Alright, that's this room was worth it. Actually, was it? I have three keys. Four keys. Okay. I don't know. The room may have been worth it, but we... We'll take what we can get, I suppose. Alright. Alright, so this is the wrong direction, but I only have one bomb, so I'm going to save it for now for a room that's truly painful to clear. This one's not bad at all. <laughs> Super punch is always funny. Alright, I have enough coin to get into a shop, so I should probably take that if I come across it. Alright, we're heading to the left now. Let's see what we can find. Alright. The question is, can I recharm enemies after the first time they're charmed, or if it's a one-time only... Oh. 
I'm not sure if that hit me while it was charmed, so it's possible that I don't take damage from charmed enemies, but it's still not established clearly enough for me to be certain. While I'm still blocking damage, the Fruitcake does give you the chance of having some very high damage output on an RNG basis. Haglaz will be useful, so we'll hold on to that. I don't know why my immediate response was to use it in this room, but I thought about it for a moment. I'll probably use it in the mom boss fight, actually. That'll give me a lot of range of motion to avoid getting unnecessary damage. Where did it go? Why don't I see the enemy? Oh, there it is. Alright. Some red hearts are very welcome on this run. Oh! Brimstone is not welcome in my house. Get that shoot out of here. So no shop on this floor, unfortunately, but we found the boss, which is good. Okay, now I'm getting all of the keys, as if the game is saying, you want a keys? Well, here you go. All of the keys. Right. Thanks to Monstro's way of play, I will probably do a whole lot of damage every time he jumps. So basically the strategy is to hope that he does jump. And remember that he shoots Brimstone and not stand in it. Well, remember that, uh, that second roll? I did great. I did amazing. Oh, good. More speed on the speedrun challenge. <clears throat> well, our chances of survival are not looking great coming into the neck into the depths, too. But it's not dead. The run is still alive. But I say that every time and then immediately die. So we'll see where we're at in about... Let's place bets. I'm going to bet one and a half minutes. So at the 430 mark. Can I survive that long? Let us find out. The answer may disappoint you. It certainly will disappoint me. Right, chest room. Well, I have the keys for it. I may as well take it and see what we got. Cool. Nothing worth wasting my time on. But maybe a bomb to you will give me a heart. A bomb to you gave me a key. I really need to find my item shop. I'm not going to even... Yeah, there are going to be too many things... Uh, I'm going to have too many coins to afford every... Or, to not afford every... What am I trying to say? I'm going to have too many coins, and it's going to be... I'm going to have a waste of coins, because I'm not going to be able to buy everything. Or, I'm going to be able to buy everything and then have left over. Oh god, this is not a fun room. Okay. Ah, shoot. Almost made it through the room without taking damage. I think this might be a good room for Haglaz, but I'm going to save it for a bomb. I'm going to save it and use bomb. Death. Uh, death is probably really good for the boss fight, but I think to increase my chances of survival, I want to clear out the room of all the rocks it usually spawns with. Please show me a item that can carry the run. Alright. Let's see what we get. Mystery Egg. I think that after a certain number of damage spawns a familiar. So, not an amazing pull and definitely doesn't improve my survivability. Right, just gotta focus on not getting hit here. Cool, cool. Alright, now we wait for these to finish. And there we go. Alright. Oh, good, another brimstone room. With enemies that are in a position that's hard to hit, but can kill each other, so... Oh, that was my own shots tipping me there, I think. Alright. Oh. Alright, I was off by 20 seconds. <laughs> Alright. Let's try one more. Oh, library on the first floor, and I started with a bomb, I just noticed. I guess that's intentional for the run, because they want you to use your bombs to skip rooms if you can, and that's definitely something I'm very good at not doing. All right, let's let's move a lot slower, but not have to deal with rocks being in the way. So I'd take this. I think it's useful. Unfortunately, on a normal run, I would probably hunt around for, say, like a uh, tinted rocks and, and crawl spaces and the like. Don't think I can really afford to do that on this run. Also, while the HP up is good, it doesn't save me from myself. Nothing can save me from myself except getting good. And today, I'm not in the mood to get good. I'm barely in the mood to get anything. <laughs> but, all right, here's the boss room. 
I did get a key, I kind of want to go to the library and see what it gives me, because if it gives me Black Bible or the Book of Revelation, that that will save the run. Or it will give the run a genuine fighting chance, so I think it's worth it. Alright, well, we get Librarian, which is a huge damage up, potentially, and the Book of Belial. None of them are amazing, but the Book of Belial... Actually, hold on. Uh, wasting a lot of time, but I should... Oh. I, I, I mixed up the Necronomicon with the Book of Sin. I was going to try and generate like a key or a bomb with it, but... Oh well, this is a pretty tiny floor. The Book of Belial isn't amazing, but it is really good damage, so still pretty solid. The main issue I'm going to run into here is I'm going to be too slow to outspeed him. Hopefully I don't get other enemies like this, or War, or Lust, where I'm going to have to try and outspeed them to survive, and it's just not going to happen. It's not going to be allowed to happen. Alright. I do think movement speed will be very useful as like a single item that gives it, hopefully in conjunction with something else. Uh, okay, we got damage up and we lost more movement speed. Oh no, <laughs> that is that is unfortunate. Um, but that is the nature of experimental treatment, isn't it? Well, damage up is always welcome, even if I'm gonna not be able to outrun a single enemy anymore. Oh gosh, how? <laughs> <laughs> this went from the speed challenge to the very slow challenge. Oh, I can't even outrun flies. Oh, that's bad. I know there's a speed cap at two. What is the speed minimum? <laughs> because I am definitely approaching it rapidly. You know what would be amazing if I pulled a tented rock and got small rock after that and got even slower? <laughs> the slowest run on ever imagined. You know, I probably should have cleared another room for the Book of Belial charge, because I think I might just end up dying here. Definitely not getting my double deal. <laughs> my damage is decent. My damage potential is decent with Librarian. Oops, right, forgot he explodes. Uh, Snot Goblin! Alright, this is actually, actually kind of my favorite item. I know Doorstop is objectively better here. Don't run into the bombs. But, no, oh, oh my god, no, no, please. This is unfortunate. I, I definitely can't outspeed her. Okay, this run is just making fun of me now. Oh, man, what unfortunate, what misfortune. What even, what enemy is even in this room? Oh, no, I just don't have a key. Well, clearly I am wasting all of my time. On to the next run. Alright. Teleport 2.0. Cool, I teleported to the room I would have gone to next anyway. I have nothing to show for it either. I don't actually know what the difference between teleport and teleport 2.0 is. <sighs> but it's definitely not an amazing starting item on paper. Spiders are another enemy that usually I have no issue dealing with, but I definitely have issue dealing with here. Oops. Eh, whatever. Keep on moving along. Got the oh, everything chases me in this room. Oh, dearie, dearie me. This is probably another dead run, from how it feels. Spider! Oh, I almost walked into that guy. Where's the last step of me? There you are. Alright, we got a coin. Not great. Oh, good. I don't think... I think this one is just a chaser. I don't have to damage his compatriot. Oh. Alright, I think I'm going to try one more time, but clearly today is not an Isaac day. Uh, at least it's not an Isaac speed challenge day. And I can't blame it on an RNG, I'm just playing extremely poorly. There are just going to be days like that, although, if we're going based on the previous videos, I think it's reasonable to say that uh, we can't expect much from my playing. I think uh, there's also the challenge of being able to offer commentary and play at the same time, and 
frankly, I'm not good at either. I'm clearly not good at either. My commentary leaves a lot to be desired, and I openly acknowledge that. Um, but I am, again, I, this is kind of just the, the very start of a casual, not even passion project, I'd call it. Um, and if the intent is just to have you have a voice to listen to to fall asleep, then I think I'm doing my job just fine. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna take this tinted rock and hope for something. I probably should put it in the left and hope for a uh, secret room. Definitely there's a chance there could have been one that spawned there. Alright, so Cone Head as a first item is decent for survivability, but we really look for a damage sort of ability at the start, because this guy is going to take forever now. I honestly think the strategy here is to bomb at him. That speeds things along pretty nicely. Homing shots are always scary. I'm not paying attention. Alright, there we go. Boss down and a damage up. With range up, also good. Alright, we still need some HP, but we'll take what we can get. Alright, there's a chest room there, and I do have the keys to afford it and the item room. So I'm definitely considering it. I think I'll try for it and see what happens. Um, <clears throat> well, let's get our item first. Glitter bombs, or Nancy bombs. Alright. Some coins, some bombs. <clears throat> Perhaps free aggress. Okay. So, I've suddenly gone from one bomb to 14 bombs. Not bad. Then we don't have to worry about uh, lacking access to tinted rocks, should I find them, and can definitely escape rooms if I ever need. Got those guys pretty easily. Alright, next room. Uh, the shop I can afford to go to, I just don't have the keys for it. I think if I get a key, I will... Hold on to it, though. Alright, Gurglings, in theory, I can no damage. Oh. Doesn't... Would help if they didn't throw their flies at me like that. I see... Pers oh, well, there we go. The 1% double, double chance is always real. I've had it pull out a win before, but... I'm not convinced we're gonna have that here. I shouldn't have taken damage. Man. I think you can just feel the tilt. I'm definitely a teensy bit tilted. Joker. Strength. Temperance. I'm gonna have to pull it. Let's do it. Okay, uh... Hmm. <sighs> Screw it. Let's do it. Temperance. Strength. The pool. Temperance. Temperance. Ghost? 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 Oh, is my friend Ghost? How did I get that ghost? Alright, so we're gonna take strength onto the next floor. Obviously, trying... Uh, complaining about not having enough survivability, and then immediately giving up two hearts. A bad choice. We all know it's a bad choice. But at this point... I just wanted a double deal. I think that's really all it boils down to. I have not had a single double deal this entire video, and I don't think I got many last round. Actually, no, I did get one. I did get one this round, never mind. Higher font is helpful. I, I have had double deals this round, that is that is a lie. But I just, I want, I need power. I need, I need something to make this run feel real. Especially if it's gonna be the last run. Let's, let's risk it all. Alright, I can definitely afford a item shop, that's for sure. Alright, here's our item room with no key to get in. With a key to get in. Alright, you know what? That That's not quite brimstone. But it is a pretty substantial amount of damage on the boss if I play it right. No coin to get or no key to get in there. Mega Fatty is so darn tanky. At least I have this per this damage buff from being in the shadow, and the, the familiar itself also does a fair bit of damage too, so I can speed things along a little bit. 
I think it actually makes my tier size bigger too, interesting. At least this isn't the one that goes shooting little floors everywhere. Okay, another double deal. Alright, uh, hmm. Do I risk it? I believe this one is actually pretty decent. I could be wrong. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna do it. This is... No better or worse than where I was before, I suppose. Let's try the arcade and see if I get anything. Bomb beggar. I'm just gonna blow you guys up. Alright. On to the next floor. Or, not even the next floor, the next room. So, okay, that's what I thought that does. So basically I spawn little ghosties that attack enemies when they die. Um, so it may not be great for bosses, but it'll be really good for clearing rooms. If I can kill one enemy, it's kind of a chain reaction of death after that point. Also, I completely forgot I had the strength card and could have gotten that deal for free without losing a heart. That was the whole reason I had the strength card. Hopefully if I get another devil deal, I can still maneuver that. Oh, didn't see you coming. Alrighty, let's see what we got. This would have been a good room for Super Loop. Oh. Right, my little my little spirity friends will beat them up a little bit. Alright, we found the boss room. I'm gonna go for the boss and then I'll come hunting for the item room afterwards. Alright. Not one of my favorite I uh, enemies. This boss used to give me so much trouble. I forget if this one also uses Blurmstone or if it's just the other version of him. But my my brain and Brimstone generally don't get along very well. It doesn't seem like this is the version with Brimstone, which is what I thought. Oh, darn it. The, the optimal strategy there was just to not move as it seems out as it turns out. Alright. There we go, and boss dead. Double deal? Nope. HP up, though. Okay, good. Alright, I found my item room, I just didn't get a key. Alright, I guess we're moving along. <sighs> These no-key runs are so painful. So very painful. Alright, we'll just stay by my friend. Alright. I probably didn't need to shoot to Wapu Whoop in this room, but I'm basically going to just use it every room at this point. Alright, let's see what's, what the next room brings. Oh yeah, this would have been the this would have been the room for Shoop to Whoop, although never mind, Incubus made work happen on him. Alright, pretty easy clear, and there's our key for our item room. Little spewer, okay, not an amazing There's a tinted rock. Let's go take that. I wonder what ability shrunk me, because I feel small. Oh, now I have an extra key. Let's go hit this item shop and see what we get. Nothing worth taking, except for the soul heart. We'll take the soul heart, at least. Alright. We're, we've got a decent bit of more HP, but I know, I know how this is going to play out. I'm going to lose it very quickly. At least we have a key for the next floor, which is very good. I do feel like that, uh, the, the Wraith's ability or whatever it's called that I got is pretty solid here. See, for example, it helps you with these enemies that I notoriously have difficulty with. Uh, not taking it. I could, but it's time waste. Stop shooting at me. Just a little whiny baby here. I don't want to take this damage. Alright. I guess what's the... what item would be... I mean, obviously Brimstone would be the run saver here. Alright. Oops. Right. Should have paid attention a little bit closer there. I have the bombs. I should take it. Uh, you know what? Skipping the floor isn't a bad idea. Actually, it kind of is because I need the HP and the damage that the boss might give me. But, oh well. 
Hmm. All right, nothing this way. Yeah, I'm. I, this run definitely isn't terribly strong, but it has it. It's not over. I feel like I've said that on every single run, and every single run has ended almost immediately thereafter. I'm gonna give myself the 430 estimate again. Tammy's head. I think Shoop to Whoop is still the better answer here. There's a tinted rock. There's a soul heart. There's another soul heart. A Hierophant card pull here would be huge. But it does not appear that it's gonna happen. Yara would be great if I got that. Actually, hold on. Let's, uh... Yara. I'm just gonna Yara these things. Uh, so... Justice. Justice. Oops. Well, I used the strength card, but that's fine. Because I'm gonna... Don't know what I need those for on the coming four. Need to remember to shoot that inside of Succubus's range. This, uh, this double deal item actually helps with mom fight just because I can spawn these little wraiths and have them, or spawn them off of her little minions. Not, I'm so focused I'm not even giving commentary anymore. My brain is just running immensely slow. Yeah, I think they changed it so that the foot now damages you if you touch it after it lands. It used to be that you could just stand up against it and use the orbitals. Okay, that's where the run ends. I played like crap. Alright, I think I need to take a break from Isaac. Clearly this is not my day. Next time I record, I'll do something other than the speed challenge, just because clearly this is not, not the mode for me today. Well, sorry for three in a row videos of poor commentary and disappointing outcomes, but... I hope you at least enjoyed the commentary for what it was worth. I hope it helped you fall asleep if you're awake. I hope you're uh, sleeping well if you're asleep. I love you, Kiwi. I'll see you in the next one.